Guys, you know when you're a kid and you're like, can I have ice cream for breakfast? The answer is yes. Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into this vlog, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that watched my falafel tour. Oh my gosh, you guys have overwhelmed me with how excited you were. If you haven't seen it, stop what you're doing, do not pass go, do not collect $200, go back and watch it before we get into this vlog. You can watch it here, we've got the link right here. But today, what are we gonna be reviewing? Well, you guys voted on Melbourne Vegan Guide that you wanted to know where it had the best vegan ice cream and gelato here in Melbourne. I am a huge ice cream lover, so I'm so excited. We will be getting 10 scoops today at five different places across Melbourne, uh, and we'll be reviewing them on the same things, so taste, texture like does it offer a waffle cone is it chunky and also value because that's always important anyway let's get into it all right guys so here is how it's going to work we are about to hit the road and when we go to each place we're going to try and get the same flavor at each place so like a vanilla or a chocolate that's quite consistent and plain and then we'll get something a bit more exotic and fun and delicious i'm going to try and get a cone at each place but I'm not sure if every place we're going to does vegan cones but fingers crossed um, but first up we are off to girls and boys in Fitzroy All right, we are here in Fitzroy and of course we are going to Girls and Boys. You all said it was your absolute favorite and not gonna lie, I actually came last night but I stopped myself from getting some so today could be the full review. I am so excited this place is completely vegan. So let's go check it out. Hey guys, look, it's Tahina Bar. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Girls and boys, here in Fitzroy, let's go in. stickers. Alright, we are dealing with a very precious product. It is beginning to melt and I already have chocolate all over me. Um, guys, we're going to stick to the chocolate flavour at every place we go and then we've got something else to try which is a cookie dough and honeycomb. I'm not sure if it's always on the menu but that's what we got for today. The waffle cones, vegan, everything there is vegan. It's on a soy coconut base, which is really good to know. And they do have a couple of gluten-free options as well if you're after that. Um, and this bad boy came in at $7, which is a bargain. Uh, but the most important part, let's get into the taste of it. <laughs> oh, so good. Like creamy. They're very generous with like the stuffing that they put inside of it. People walking past are probably like, what are you doing? All right. Oh, guys, it's really good. But we've got to give it a go with the cone. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Let's eat it, and then we'll review it. All right, guys, and the reason we are all here is to review it. It is melting very quickly, so we're going to get stuck into this. It's a tough one. It's straight first place we've been to. I haven't spilled anything yet, so I'm super proud of that. Unfortunately, there's going to be no moist count in this vlog. Sorry to all my fellow moist lovers, but moist is just not a word we're going to use to describe this ice cream today. But what we are going to use is we're going to talk about the flavors, the elements, the price. So for value, this was... $7 for two scoops, or I think you can pay $5 for one scoop. It's a really good upsell. You're going to have to get two scoops. I think that's really good value uh, for two scoops. I'm going to go ahead and give that five out of five value straight off the bat. I know, generous, right? In terms of texture, we're talking about how generous were they with the, the elements and the extra addings and all that kind of thing that they put into the ice cream. Because it is a little bit watery, watery and coconutty for me, um, I'm going to say maybe for texture. We'll give it four out of five for texture and they are pretty generous with um, all the elements that go into the ice cream flavour, but it's just a little bit too watery and not enough fluffiness for me, if that makes sense. In terms of taste, Oh gosh, it was really good. I think it might be a little bit too coconutty or watery for me because it melted very quickly. In saying that, it is hot. Um, but for taste, I'm gonna go ahead and give it four and a half out of five for taste. All right, guys, it's on to the next ice cream. Okay. 
Okay, friends, we're off to stop number two, and it is Black Waffle in Northcote. I'm not sure about the name, we'll talk about that later. Growing up, I was genuinely obsessed with ice cream. Like, my MySpace URL was ice cream is my heaven. And when I say my heaven, I spelt it M-I because, you know, I was cool. But no, seriously, guys, I used to spend my weekends going draining and um, getting ice cream. I think a lot of people think that vegans miss out on ice cream, and that's probably because most places only ever have a lemon or strawberry sorbet, which we will not be getting today. Alex, our cameraman, is actually lactose intolerant, so I'm also on a mission to, one, make him love falafel, tick, tick, and also um, make sure that he knows there are some good lactose-free options out there as well. So let's go. Two scoops down, eight to go. We have just arrived at Black Waffle Cafe and Dessert Bar here on High Street, and I'm pretty sure they're called Black Waffle Dessert Bar because they're famous for their Black Waffle. So these guys are a dessert bar. They do shakes, coffees. They are open from 10 a.m. So yes, you can have waffles for breakfast. They aren't all vegan, but they have heaps and heaps of vegan options. Uh, so I'm excited to go in and check it out. Big. What? So big. All right, guys, this is the double scoop we got. Well, we are melting. It is pretty much the Wizard of Oz melting scene. Insert here. I'm melting, melting. So we got two flavors. We got the charcoal vanilla because we wanted a plain kind of flavor and also the peanut butter Oreo. And both their cones are vegan as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is gonna get really sexual. <laughs> okay, so far loving the taste, but I'm gonna do a proper taste test. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Also guys, just wanted to let you know that everything we are buying today, we are paying for. I don't want any of the producers or cafes that we visit to gift it to us because we want to be able to be completely honest with it. So these guys have been open since 2016 and they are open seven days a week. And like I said, from 10 a.m. you can come and have your waffles for breakfast with your coffee. Why not add some ice cream? For two scoops, it's $7.50. For one scoop, it is $5. The waffle cone is huge, and I love the fact that it's something different. So five out of five for value. For taste, we are going to give it... I hope that it's pretty much perfect. Like I said, you wouldn't know that it wasn't vegan, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five for taste. There's really interesting flavors in there, guys, and they have heaps of vegan options. But in terms of texture, I just think it's missing something. Like, it's beautiful, it's not too coconutty, but I think we need some more crunchy elements, especially in that peanut butter and Oreo one. It would have been nice to have some crunchy things happening throughout it. So we're gonna go ahead and give it, I have ice cream on my elbow. Three out of five for texture. On to number three, and that'll be scoop number six after we visit here. Uh, no, the ice cream. Oh yeah, never waste ice cream. Okay guys, there is actually a fact that if you are full from your savory dinner, ice cream is always a second stomach. And my theory is, is that ice cream just like melts around the crevices, crevices? Inside your stomach. So, if anyone ever says there's no room for ice cream, I have told you, you have permission to tell them they are wrong. I'm on the sugar high, 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 high. I'm on the sugar high. All right, guys, we are at stop number three on this tour, and we are in Fitzroy North here at Billy Van Ice Creamery. I actually live super close here, but I've only ever been here once. Um, but it does say these guys are dealers in delight, and they have been here since 2014. So let's go in and see whether we get dealt a good, delightful scoop. Oh, 
so good. It's starting to get really hot outside, so I am actually in the mood for ice cream now that it's not 10 a.m. But here at Billy Van Ice Creamery, they also have another location in Brunswick. We're in the Fitzroy North store. Um, but they have three vegan flavors that are always on the menu. That's a chocolate, a pediment one, and the peanut butter choc crunch, which we got. So it is two scoops for $8 and one scoop for $5. Um, these ice creams are made on Housemake house-made cashew milk and coconut milk base um, and they are really delicious they also have a couple of vegan options on their special board that are always rotating at the moment they have some sorbets given it is hot here in Australia um, but let's give it a taste and then we'll review it first up let's talk about value it's eight dollars the scoops weren't anywhere near as big as the other places we've been um, but I think that's potentially because it's about the quality of ingredients here but $5 for one scoop, $8 for two scoops. I'm gonna give it three and a half out of five for value. Let's talk about the texture. The texture is so creamy and so delicious and I don't get that coconutty flavor at all. There's lots and lots of crunches in that peanut butter and chocolate one and it's like good quality chocolate, you can tell. So I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five for texture. Guys, it's really, really good. It's super rich. I don't find it too sugary or sweet, so you can tell it's made with good quality ingredients, which I really, really appreciate. So in terms of taste, we're gonna go ahead and give it a five out of five. How generous of me. friends it has officially hit 31 degrees and it is the ultimate weather for ice cream in saying that though I think I could eat ice cream anytime anywhere any day um, well we are here at stop number four at Augustus gelato these guys have 15 locations throughout Melbourne so you don't have to travel far to get your scoop going to review this double scoop. I know I committed to getting chocolate, but I'm so dehydrated. So I wanted something fruity, so we got the strawberry uh, sorbet and the gingerbread ice cream as well. There's a huge cabinet in there of plant-based options. It's really cool, they're all labeled, uh, and there's a huge variety from fruity to something sweet. Um, two scoops will set you back $8.20, but it's a pretty generous serve if you ask me. Let's start with taste. Guys, it's a little bit too watery for me. Maybe it's because it's more of a gelato style than an ice cream style. But um, there's some nice flavors there. Um, but I'm probably gonna give it a three out of five for taste. It's kind of a bit too watery for me. In terms of texture, it's fluffy, it's light, it's nice. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty much bang on for texture. There's a few little bits of crunch throughout this gingerbread one. There's always room for more, but um, because of that, we are going to go ahead and give it four out of five for texture. And in terms of value, it is a little bit more pricey for the double scoop um, and also for the single scoop. It's the most expensive single scoop we've seen, but it's huge. This could be shared between two. So I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five for value. This is so cute, I already love it. We are here in Tasco Vale and it's a really small little shop. Real local vibes already. This is adorable. Bonus points for cute things. I'm a sucker for a cutie. All right, let's go inside. We're at Minot. I'm gonna figure out how to say it or ask them how to properly pronounce it um, and then we will give them a try. Okay friends, it is melting very quickly, so I'm gonna try and get this, get to this before I am covered in it. I just found out that Minot or Minot is actually a southern French slang word for cheeky, which I am all about because I am all about the cheeky vibes. And these guys have been here in Pasco Vale for six years. They are so lovely, it's got a real local feel. And there's a great range of vegan options and gluten-free as well. I know you guys care about that. Um, and they have a range of like fruity flavors, but also like peanut butter and jelly. 
flavors as well. We've got two scoops for $7 and a beautiful waffle cone. We've got lemon lime and bitters and we got the peanut butter and jelly one. Let's tuck in. All right guys, time for the review. We're gonna go ahead and give it five out of five for flavor. The flavors are so good. They use real fruit, fruits and I really, really love it. The texture is pretty much spot on for a gelato. Not as creamy as I would have liked, but that's because it's more of a gelato vibe. So let's go ahead and give it four out of five for that. And in terms of value, it's all made with really good ingredients and it's a pretty big serve and a very long cone. So we're gonna go ahead and give it four and a half out of five for value. We have made it home in one piece and I think it's about time you all met my cat, Binksy. She is not loving this at all. Okay friends, that brings us to the end of this ice cream tour and I am so sticky and so full, but you're all here for the score. Who has the best vegan gelato or ice cream here in Melbourne? Well, if we add up the scores, we have Girls and Boys on 13 and a half and so does Minot in Pasco Vale. So who's it gonna be? Drum roll, please. Thank you, Alex. Mano, you guys in Pascal, I am crowning you the best vegan gelato and ice cream here in Melbourne. At the end of the day, it came down to vibe, the quality of the ingredients, and it was such an authentic local place. I didn't have any bad ice cream at all, and it's complete proof that vegans or people that are lactose free can enjoy delicious vegan ice cream. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click subscribe, click the bell button, and let me know where your favorite vegan gelato is in Melbourne. And also, if you go to any of these places, it really helps when you tag me as well, because I like to know what you guys think and if you've been hashtag influenced by me. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.